Hey guys, here we are back with another math rebuilding video. Today we are going to talk about interest tests. We all know our favorite interest rate. If you have $100 in your bank account and it has an annual interest rate of 6%, easy. We just convert the 6% into decimals. Move two decimals to the left, it gives us the 0 0.06. Then just add one to it and it gives us the growth factor of the equation. The equation will be function of t equals to initial value times 1.06 raised to the power of t. This is great, but you're not satisfied with making the same amount of interest over many years. So let's try a more profitable interest, the compound interest. The interest you earn with compound interest also has its interest, this making more money. What if the interest rate is compounded twice a year? First, we'll have to divide our 6% into half, 3%. So after the first 6 months, the money in the bank will become 100 times 1.03 equals $103. This is easy. However, the second half year, the $3 you earn in the first half year is also counting its interest. So the interest will become 100 times 1.03 times 1.03, which will give you 100 times 1.0609 and will equal to $106.09 in the end of the year. The 6% at the beginning is called the nominal interest rate, or annual percentage rate. And the 6.09% is called the effective interest rate, or annual percentage yield. You are not satisfied with the interest of compounding 2 times a year. You want it to compound every month because you want more money. Well, in order to calculate the effective rate, we will just have to do the same process. But instead of dividing the nominal rate in half, we divide it by 12, obviously because the year has 12 months. Add 1 to it, making it the growth factor, and raise it to the 12th power. This method gives us an equation of calculating the compound interest. Function of t equals initial value times 1 plus r over n to the power of nt. Let's do a question. Suppose you have $500 in a bank account that pays an annual interest rate of 3%. Compute the balance at the end of 10 years if interest is compounded annually, monthly, or daily. We can get the result by compounding annually by adding 1 to 3%, and we get function of t equals 500 times 1.03 to the power of 10. That gives you $671.95. For monthly, we just plot the numbers to the equation. Function of t equals 500 times 1 plus 0 0.03 over 12 to the power of 12 to the power of 10. That gives you 500 times 1.0025 to the power of 12 to the power of 10 equals 500 times 1.0304 to the power of 10, and that will give you $674.68. For daily, plug in the numbers. Function of t equals 500 times 1 plus 0 0.03 over 365 to the power of 365 to the power of 10. That will equal to 500 times 1.0345 to the power of 10. And then it will give you $674.92.